Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today, I wanted to go over a specific detail about when we're doing our waterproof bladders. We are running some softening today and I have the gutter system installed. So I wanna go over the downspouts, the gutter system, and how it works, because there's a lot of questions about that. So don't forget to click like, subscribe, and follow us on this channel, and don't forget to share it with your friends. All right, so basically what we have over here is an unfinished underside of a deck. The gutter company has come out and already installed some five inch K-line gutters and some oversized three inch by four inch downspouts, which I really like because Basically, once the soffit's installed, you really can't get inside of there to clean the gutters out. So we just want all this, the sediment, any pine needles, and anything else that gets trapped in between the bladder to flush out, drop into the gutter, and then be able to easily get out and about. So the gutter is installed. You can kind of see right here, we have a piece of pine soffiting under here. And then there's a little bit of taper. So this side of the soffit right here has a little bit less drainage. It's tighter to the top. And as the gutter goes that way, it, it lowers down a little bit, okay? So all of the baffles that we have installed, which basically there's a trough for each joist bay, and then there's a baffle that the trough drains into. Then the baffle drops into the gutter, and that's how the water goes from the trough to the baffle and into the gutter. If any of those baffles aren't properly placed, the water won't get into the gutter and it'll leak. So, but I just wanted to show you a before and an after how this works and then where we end up putting our downspouts for drainage, okay? So basically for this entire run, there is drainage going into the gutter and there's not a whole lot. It's been raining today, but there's not a whole lot of drainage. This gutter is the entire run of this section of the deck. It goes all the way down, it, it drops slightly, and then it goes down that downspout, and then it drains out into the gravel. So basically, this side of the deck is not finished. We still have to finish this side. But over here, on this side of the deck, all the soffitings installed, and now this is what the gutter looks like after the soffitings installed, okay? So yeah, you can't get your fingers up in here to clean it, but in 25 years of me doing this type of bladder, I've never had somebody call me back and say, hey, I have a blockage. Because basically, you got a 3 16th inch gap on your decking. So yes, yeah, sediment, pine needles, leaves, things like that can get trapped in there or go behind it, below it, into it, into the joist bay, and it, it usually will flood out. So if something gets caught, usually the water will peak inside of there and then it'll carry it out and then it'll drop right into the gutter and then that's why i have these oversized downspouts if you really had to clean this gutter you could pull this downspout off clean any sediment that's around the drain and clear it but usually you won't have to do that because there's not a whole lot of heavy stuff's going to get in between those deck boards and into the bladder if the bladder has a, a blockage usually you can flood it out from the top by the house run water and then it'll run down that bladder and into the gutter and down and out okay so i just uh, thought it would be kind of cool to explain that to you because a lot of people don't understand the gutter system usually a lot of times when we're finished with this project we may not have the gutters done we're waiting for the gutter company to show up i was fortunate enough to get them to come out earlier to get this installed so this is more the finished look here where you've got your ceiling and you've got your gutter and everything's already installed. And then the, the drainage just goes straight down and out to the gravel. You could tie that into your existing drainage system if you want or whatever. This is how this particular project is done. That's the finished look. That's what we we're going for. And I think it looks great. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to kill it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.